my name is Prem Bahadur Bora and I am from Dulpa. Dulpa is uh, um, so hidden paradise is called. <laughs> so uh, and also it falls in the Karnali region. So Karnali region is uh, popularly known as uh, the region of poverty, but uh, it has high potentials uh, of uh, like economic growth through best utilization of natural resources as well as the social and uh, cultural equity. Uh, so that has uh, that region has big potential, but uh, because of uh, underdevelopment and because of our mindset, so we see that region as the uh, synonym to the poverty. That's unfortunate. <laughs> so when I was a child and I used to um, uh, you know participate the like daily activities, daily work with my parents. And then, I mean, uh, in comparison with the children who are grown up here, so we used to have lots of work. And in the morning, you just uh, wake up at like 4.30 or 5, and we need to, uh, you know, we need to carry the uh, like fertilizers to the, uh, to somewhere, uh, you know, uh, for I mean, we used to carry so many things, and we used to work uh, with the family and carrying the uh, firewoods from the jungle and uh, many other things. So, and uh, after that, and then you sometimes cooking food for family, and then before going to school, we we used to complete. I used to complete at least like three or four tasks in the morning, and then I used to go to school. Sometimes, uh, many times, I skipped my meal. And then sometimes I didn't like the food, and then most of the time I missed because my uh, like mother and father were in the field, used to be in the field, and it's too late for uh, the for me to prepare food after completing some tasks. And after school, and then I used to come back uh, from school to home, and also carry uh, water from the tap because we had uh, used to carry from. Uh, from uh, like water, fetching water is uh, uh, harder in that time. So, uh, so uh, I mean, so I used to do that. I mean, I used to do uh, so many work uh, in the morning and after the school. Before coming Kathmandu, like I didn't know what Kathmandu looks like because we didn't have the um, TV, television. So we didn't have anything that that gives the exposure of outside world from that place. But when I, I came here, so it was like a, you know, just like a dream. I mean, where I am is like, it's a totally different world. The region where I was born is the region, is a, is a paradise, it's, it's a region of Himalayas, right? So I have seen lots of snows, but in other way. So that time when I was with the snow, so I didn't feel the, that chill that you know moment but uh, now i am far from snow so i am in Kathmandu. so i missed most of the snow uh, season uh, and uh, but now right now like i want to go to my place and uh, play with the snow and feel that moment with a different way so when i was uh, in my place uh, i did so many things I mean that are popularly known as uh, here as the hiking and then also um, uh, climbing mountains right small mountains <laughs> and and also you know exploring the jungle right and then so many things and also snow falling on, on my roof and also playing with the snow yeah. so those were just normal life style uh, I mean after uh, after coming to Kathmandu, so I saw like so many websites and so many uh, agencies here who are organizing those activities, so that like people from uh, city region, uh, city, and so people from the outside of Nepal can come and hike, right, and go for uh, go to see snow falling and see the snow and like this. And I mean, now lately I realize is uh, what I realize is. Like those were the moments, but for now, if I remember those moments, and those moments were really 
like interesting part of my life because I unknowingly I did so many things that uh, that like people most of the people do not have a, uh, have an opportunity to do that so now I feel lucky